Welcome to Walletopia. We appreciate you visiting with us. If you'd like to receive manufacturer's discounts, notifications on upcoming videos, please visit walletopia.info to register. And before you watch another minute, subscribe, ring the bell, so you can always receive new notifications when videos come out. So today, I'm gonna to take you through my long-term carry experience with the Anson Calder Zip Around Wallet. Before we get into my general assessments, likes and dislikes, let's do a quick review of the features of this. The Anson Calder Zip Wallet, this is exactly how I carried it for really almost three weeks, to be honest. And what is unique about uh, the Anson Calder products is they have quick thumb access pushes for all of their card slots. So we have a card slot in the front with a quick thumb access push. And on the back, we have another slot exactly like it with another quick thumb access push. This gives you a great access to cards immediately and there is no RFID on this. We got that right, good, I'm glad. Which means that you can use this to tap for subway, for access cards, for work, for hotels, whatever it might be. And you don't have to unzip it to get to the things that you want. Now if we go to the interior and open this up, we see that we immediately have two card slots on both sides. And of course the open nature of the wallet itself so that uh, you can put anything in here, zip it up and it will be safe. And that's a quick review of the features of the Anson Calder zipper wallet. As a zipper wallet, I really liked how this performed. I never had any snags with the zipper, it always opened and closed smoothly, and the leather performed as expected, as, as does all Anson Calder leather. And all of Anson Calder's wallet lines are excellent. They even have expanded the material options so you can pick up a well-designed Anson Calder without higher prices because they have non-calfskin versions of this. It's made in the United States, uh, as all of Anson Calder wallets are. And I've review tested and carry, carry tested several of theirs in the past. Now for my likes. There's plenty of room on the interior for cards, coins, and anything else you'd like to carry. Uh, I had card-based reading glasses in here as well. You know, the little kind of card reading glass thing that pokes out. I had that in there. Works just great. And uh, I had two cards in each of these slots, these external slots here. And that worked really good from a minimal perspective. Four cards, immediate access. There, there was rarely any issues I had with that. Now for my dislikes. The interior of the is, is quite lacking. As we can see here as we unzip this, it just has two slots and there's nothing more. And I guess I, it could be asked what more am I looking for, but other wallet manufacturers provide slots for coins or keys or individual cards, SIM cards. And it could be argued that the simplicity of these two slots is enough. And I can see that viewpoint, but I still come away thinking that they could have done more here from a design perspective. Another problem is that the interior of this, whew, Man, it stinks, it really smells bad, I'm not sure why. I'm always reminded of this aroma when I open it up and it's not that great. So there you go, that's my review of the Anson Calder Zipper Wallet. Uh, it, it's really not a bad wallet and it's something that if you want to look at a zipper wallet, it's something to consider. Thanks for watching, bye.